Hello and welcome to a Jeff play. Today I'm going to be playing Dark Souls. No, not two. I'm going to be playing the very first Dark Souls that came out. This game is just absolutely ridiculously hard. I haven't ever played anything like it, but I have played about 45 minutes into this game as the night, which I dislike. So I don't know. I just thought maybe I could. Uh, I could go through the game for you guys, um, maybe bring you guys a little entertainment, and if I get through the entire game, which is sort of likely, sort of isn't, I don't know how long it is, but if, I, if I'm if i able to get through the whole game in gameplay form, like I would like I would like to, then maybe I can head on over to the second game and try that one out, you know, that would be great. So if you could stick around with me from here all the way through the second game, that would be amazing. But uh, yeah, I'm going to need some support for that, so please leave your likes, please leave your comments, please leave your feedback. We will cut to the uh, cutscene here shortly, which you can skip if you like, and I would probably, I'd probably say go ahead and skip it just because it's, it's kind of a cutscene that you might have already seen because this is an older game. So if you just click the skip the cutscene thumbnail button below, uh, just go ahead and do that and you'll get right straight to gameplay, which is, I know, what everybody loves. So, without further ado... Um, Welcome to a Jeff play. My name is obviously Jeff, your humble commentator. Uh, let's start off Dark Souls One. Don't know about that weird-looking hood thing, but you know I don't. I guess it's not really that important. But yeah, here we go uh, to the cutscene. Here's my character, and I'm gonna name him Leon. Uh, I should probably change the sex to male. There's me pressing the left trigger to try and get the uh, caps lock to go on, just like on PS4. Alright, so everything looks good. Uh, this is my character. He's a pyromancer. Name of Leon. Looks kind of like Leon. So let's start up this game. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Thus began the Age of Fire.
But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. The man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. All right, here we go with the gameplay. Now, see the cutscene wasn't horribly long, but if you did decide to skip, please have no worries. Uh, I don't blame you, obviously, especially if you've already played this game before or you've already watched gameplay, that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm actually going to take this hood off because he looks way cooler like that. And obvious, and honestly, this this pyromancer, <laughs> this getup is absolutely awful. I don't like it at all. So. Let's bust through this door. Use dungeon cell key. Now the combat, I absolutely love the combat system in this game so far. It's just really, I don't know, it's its its like nothing I've really ever played. I mean, it, it, it's really hard to explain. It kind of, cause it's kind of like Zelda in a way. You kind of lock on, and then you have a shield that you can block with, and then you have like a, you have a strong and weaker-ish attack. There would be the strong attack. Now the weak one is a little quicker but it does do less damage so that's basically how the combat system works and this is just tutorial stuff um, you know stuff that I already know how to do because I did play the first 45 minutes of this game so that way I'm not a complete and utter noob even though I'm about to eat those words here in a minute just because I so far I'm not you know I'm not 100% perfect at the game yet but I don't know I feel like I put up a good fight <laughs> um, that first boss I was able to take down pretty pretty easily and you know in my third try I think but the first two tries were complete shit I mean I wasn't able to do that uh, stab at the beginning the plunge stab so at some point I will surpass where I was before in the let's play it might make things a little bit more interesting but for right now I have already played pretty much all of this now I'm pretty sure I have an actual weapon here Oh no, I, oh yeah, I've only got the hilt of a sword. Okay, I thought that it actually spawned you with an actual weapon, but it turns out I was wrong. So, okay, that door does not open there. Um, I just came from over there. I've already forgotten how to do some of this, obviously, so far. What the hell am I thinking? <laughs> You're not supposed to go through that door already, are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, you are, I think. I don't have to fight. I don't have to completely fight him yet, though. I can't believe the game would throw you right into this. It's absolutely insane. You're just like, oh, those first few enemies, you know, they, they weren't that bad. And then, where is he? Oh, jeez. Okay, there he is. It's like, where are you? Yeah, you just, ow. You just have to walk in here and hopefully not get hurt like I just did. That was really bad. It's like this bonfire. Actually, it's, yeah, let's just go ahead and light it. Just to say it's lit or whatever. 
I don't actually have to stay at it. Oh wait, no, I, it will heal some of my health, so I might as well do it. <laughs> there we go. And this character actually has something different. A tune magic I just saw there in the menus. I don't know exactly what that does, but... Okay, now I have to grab my shield. Oh god, he's gonna shoot an arrow at me. Ah, ah, ah. Woohoo. Gotcha. Alright. Pillage his corpse. Found a crappy shield. Okay, let's equip it. Okay, don't, don't equip the hill there, buddy. Alright, so... Now I use the left bumper to block, and this little bastard is going to run away. See, I've already actually done some of this, like I said before, but, you know, at some point it'll actually get interesting. He should automatically just equip that. I mean, seriously, you're going you're gonna to keep the broken freaking sword there, buddy. All right, so, Firemancer's got an axe. Whoa, that was almost bad. All right, come here, buddy. Uh, uh, uh. Now, it depends on how, how much quicker he actually is at dashing because that was the main key of fighting the first boss and as a knight your dashing is just absolutely awful there's some of the frame rate that actually does plague this game a little bit that's the one gripe I have with it is that it, it does get a little frame ratey and this part I actually remember this this fooled me before there's actually like a, a thing here oh there it comes oh it still got me yay I honestly I don't know how to sidestep that other than just get hit with it I guess but yeah frame rate is being completely dropped here losing tons of frames uh. oh the knight actually has a lot more like he has a lot more resistance to that I just noticed because he I was able to block with the shield but it actually took down a little bit of health I didn't know the knight because I mean when you're playing as the knight it, it barely takes off any really oh what was that weird little glitch there. Alright, so I'm going to rest of this bonfire, and I'm good there. Now, I thought that guy was supposed to give me like a key or something, I can't, I wasn't really paying attention to my first let's play, or my first playthrough I mean. Uh, I guess let's kill him again. Start there. He did not leave me anything. Um, crap. Okay, that door is locked. So, there's obviously some something else I'm supposed to be doing. Ah, I remember now. You have to talk to this guy in here. That's right. But yeah, I do love this game so far. It's, it's really, really cool. Oh, um, you. I haven't really played a whole, a whole lot like it. You know, thank goodness. This I guy basically... Before, I'll die soon. Then, I wish to ask something. You and I, we're both undead. He basically asked me a favor. Regrettably. I have so he asks me to. There is an old saying in my family: "Thou who art undead art chosen." In thine exodus from the undead. Uh, he's just babbling and babbling. The bell of awakening. The fate. Well, now babble, you know. babble. And I can die with. Oh, one more thing. Okay, the thank Estus you for the key. Flask. Oh, and the Estus flask. He gives me this thing that heals you, heals part of your health. Oh, and this. And there's the key, right? Yeah. Now I must be See, I don't to harm you after death. See, he just babbles and babbles and babbles. Basically, long story short, he gives you the key. So, let's get on through that door. They just try to make things a little too epic there, I guess. And I keep doing that. I keep that's the weirdest glitch there. All right. Now, there will be two enemies here. Oh god, there he is. Come on. Come on. Lock on. There we go. Okay. I, I'm eagerly wondering how Dark Souls 2, holy crap, plays as compared to the first game. Because the combat system in this is actually pretty dang good. I didn't know that that thing just attacked the heck out of me, though, just a minute ago. I'm a little afraid now. Oh god, this one's doing the same thing. This is a lot more difficult than playing as a knight. What the heck? This game's throwing me a curveball. Ooh, that was close. Get over here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get over here. Actually, this en this next enemy, if he's anything like those other bastards, this is going to be a little interesting. What's up, man? Okay, I was able to sidestep that. Now, can I use the fireball? Nope. Oh, that was a nice dodge there. Definitely Pyromancer has way better dodging than Knight. Ow, okay, we just killed each other. Or he didn't kill me, but hit each other pretty hard there. I'm guessing that the master key thing probably gets you that door open. 
pretty quickly. Now, it won't let me do fire bombs. That's a little interesting because I do have to fight the boss right here. I thought you could use the spell on this boss, but I guess not. Hmm. Alright, I do know this part right here. It's uh, a big cheap shot right there. And now I run. Usually, that's what I do. I just kind of run, turn around, lock on. And so far, it's going well. Oh god, except this. Ow. Ow, that didn't go well at all. Come on. Uh, uh. Oh, you're flying now. Ooh, that was a good dodge. What is he doing? Am I supposed to be doing that? Okay. Seems a lot easier than when I play as a knight. Huh. So he's he didn't do that when I was a knight. When I was a knight, he literally just kept doing that. At, like, oh god, oh, 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 that attack right there. He just kept doing that. All right, so I'll take that's this flask. Jump right back in. Oh god. Bad idea. Bad idea. Whoa. Oh wow, that boss fight went extremely well. Yeah, that was definitely not how my first boss fight went. But yeah, there we go. Apparently I got one humanity. Boom. Alright guys. That was a little bit a little bit of a taste of Dark Souls. If you want to see more, please leave comments. Please leave likes. If you think this is a good idea. If you think this is a bad idea, please tell me. Please. Because I don't want to be sitting here making a bunch of Dark Souls videos if nobody will watch them. But I think it'll be a really fun Let's Play. I'll try and make the next episode a little bit more interesting. I know this one had, you know, cutscenes and it's plagued by the tutorials and stuff. But I, I tried not to let that, you know, bog the video down. So hopefully you, you did enjoy it. There will be a lot of editing going into this one. But the next ones should be straightforward. I will see you there. Hopefully this has been a Jeff Play Part 1 of my Dark Souls 1 gameplay. Hopefully it will lead into 2. I'll see you there.